everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the video which is pretty much the gap of the month here, gap of the week for sure. Uh, and looking at this today, it fell again today and I'm not even surprised. So what occurred in this? Let's just review it here because there's so much to be learned from this. So much to be learned from this as a trader. So the stock gap down and it was a short on this day. But if you didn't stay with the trade, you might have lost, got stopped on this and had to retake it or did nothing with it. It did go over 170, only by 66 cents, which I really didn't have a serious problem with. But the main issue I had was that it was taking so long to set up, but I still like this lower and called the put that day and it was a huge call and it fell off the planet here. I mean, if you look at this bar here, and I'm just rounding it out, 162 to 164, uh, that's just shy of a $20 move and a stock on a day, it's about $18. $18. So that, that, that was just a huge profitable day. Whether you day traded it, were in the put that I called here, I actually called a second put in this. Then that put was extremely profitable here. Into the open, the stock opened at 134, fell, dropped almost a buck, and flipped around and people bought this the craziest thing in the world to do and people bought this on here so I'm not even surprised that this fell in this day and actually people are still in this long for the previous day which is crazy so three huge short calls in this two puts in a day trade and actually actually two day trades and two puts and then I mean this is this just has a huge target I mean I can't even talk enough about this but at this point now after the last one, two, three, four days of trading and going to the holiday week, I'd leave it. I mean, I think everyone should be out of the puts. I mean, because it's fell in here and then the huge gap down in this one here. But, uh, you know, I, I, you know, if you're on the option letter, I'd keep an eye out. I may call another trade in this soon. If you're not, you should sign up for it before I do. This stock is, was really just so, there was so much profit of this if you played it right. And a lot of people, I think, got hurt in it. Why? Because they did it in the wrong direction. They went long the day of the gap down here in the earnings, and they went long yesterday. Wrong thing to do. So one of the things that I teach in the Golden Gap course is the 26 points, and what does it tell you? It tells you whether or not the stock is, is long or short to take it in what direction so you make money. You're not going to make any money if you're in the stock in the wrong direction. In fact, you'll lose. So the idea is to win, period, end of story. So NVIDIA was an extremely good gap. So much to be learned from this, and I'm probably going to add it to the next class because it, there, there, it's just this is this is just such a good example. And 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 to me, it was easy to see to some people that it was hard because of the way that it's had the pushback. But I'm telling you, this took conviction, and it was so good. So congratulations to everyone that made money in this. I think everyone made money in it. If you didn't make money in four of the trades, you at least made money in one or two i would think for the people in the options letter in the trading room but nvidia is the gap of the week and possibly the gap of the month I mean, the month isn't over but it's probably going to be have a great holiday week everyone and if you're interested in the golden gap course email me at melissa at the next class is december 15th and 16th